All right, in this video, we're gonna see how to do calculations with electromagnetic waves. It's not a lot different than doing calculations with any type of wave. Um, just like any type of wave, we have this equation that says the velocity or speed of a wave is equal to the wavelength times the frequency. So in this particular case, I wanna calculate the speed of ultraviolet light. And I am given that the frequency is two times 10 to the 16. And I'm given that the wavelength is 1.5 times 10 to the negative eight. So a lot of times I would write that down. I would actually write out F equals this number and I would write out Lambda equals this number. Um, so that would be how I would start. And now I'm gonna plug into the equation what I know. So I don't know V, so I'm gonna leave it as V. I'm gonna plug in Lambda. Lambda is 1.5 times 10 to the negative eight. And I know the frequency is two times 10 to the 16. So, and again, as long as these are in Hertz and meters, I'll get meters per second for a unit. These are the standard units. But now I gotta multiply these. I've already solved for V. There wasn't much to solve. It was already in the right form. So I'm gonna come over to here to my calculator and type this in. And I'm using the calculator on eeweb.com. It's nice. It has a lot of the features that I like with the scientific calculator. So let's uh, type this in 1.5. And all you do for the times 10 to negative eight is hit the EE button, nothing else. That means times 10 and then that next thing we do is type the exponent, negative eight. And this calculator is nice. If you type minus instead of negative, it'll still work. Now I'm gonna multiply this by two times 10 to the 16. So two E 16, and I hit enter. And a lot of times it's gonna give you your answer in standard formation. So if you see here, STD means standard. If I click that until it hits psi, now it's in scientific notation. So this means three E eight means three times 10 to the eighth. So the velocity of UV light is three times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And this actually is the velocity of all electromagnetic radiation. It doesn't matter what it is, it travels at this speed. And so it has actually a special variable assigned to it called C, uh, the speed of light, which is Latin celeritas, means swift. Um, so anyway, this is the speed of light. And so a lot of times, instead of seeing this equation, when we do speed of light uh, calculations and equations, you're gonna see it written as C, equals lambda f. So this works only for light waves or electromagnetic waves. It doesn't work for all waves, um, but it's more or less the same equation, just replacing C and V. So let's try another type of problem like this. And now we're looking at, all right, so we have the wavelength and we're looking at trying to find the frequency. So in this case, the wavelength is six times 10 to the negative five meters. And because it's electromagnetic radiation, we know C, it's always gonna be three times 10 to the eighth meters per second. I'll put the units here just because, and I'm looking for the frequency. So this is the unknown. So we're gonna start with our equation. Our equation is C equals Lambda times F. We're gonna plug in what we know. I know C, C is three, C is three times 10 to the eighth. I know lambda is six times 10 to the negative five. And I don't know F, so I'm gonna leave it as is. And so now it's just a small algebra problem. Anytime we're looking for F, it's being multiplied by this. We're gonna divide by the number it's being multiplied by. So if we divide by six times 10 to the negative five, that will cancel all of this, leaving me only F. But if I divide the right side by six times 10 to the negative five, the rule is I have to divide the left side by six times 10 to the negative five. So my frequency is gonna equal whatever this left side is. I gotta divide that. So I'm gonna go to my calculator, clear it. I'm gonna do three times 10 to the eighth, just three E eight divided by six E negative five. And I get five times 10 to the 12th. So my frequency of this is five, times 10 to the 12th, and it's a frequency, so it'll be in Hertz. One way I can check that whenever we're doing these types of problems is this equation we know is correct. We did not you know, make any mistakes. So if you take your wavelength and you multiply by your frequency, you should get C. So let's just check that out real quick. If I take my wavelength, 6E negative 5 times 5E to the 12th, I should get my speed of light, and I do. So that's a good way to check and make sure you've done it properly. All right, let's do one more problem just to, for completeness sake here. All right, whoops. All right, so here, similar idea. What do I know? What am I looking for? So I know the frequency. The frequency is 
4 times 10 to the 14th hertz. And once again, I always know my speed of light. C is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And it's asking me for the wavelength. So wavelength currently is unknown. All right, so I have my equation C equals wavelength times frequency. I'm going to plug in C is 3 times 10 to the 8th. Wavelength is unknown. Frequency is 4 times 10 to the 14th. So I want to isolate lambda. I'm going to divide by 4 times 10 to the 14th to cancel out on this side, which means I have to divide by 4 times 10 to the 14th over here. And lambda is going to be whatever this division is. So I go to my calculator, 3 e to the 8th divided by 4 e to the 14th, hit enter, 7.5 times 10 to the negative 7. So my wavelength is simply going to be 4, no, 4.5, 7.5. Where my eraser is 7.5 times 10. Uh, where's my 7.5 times 10 to the negative 7. And because of the wavelength, it, it will have units of meters as long as I've used all these other things properly. And again, just taking that extra second to check, if I do lambda times f, I should get the speed of light. So lambda, which is 7, I just calculated it was 7.5 e to the negative 7. I multiply that by my frequency, 4e14, I should get 3 times 10 to the 8th, and I do. So that's a final check you can do just to make sure you've done it right. These are all very much largely the same. Uh, it's just a matter of writing down what you know, plugging in, and then solving and using the scientific calculator properly. So just be careful with that. Um, and that's it. So give these a shot. And uh, until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.